Hey guys. It's Christmas week, it's Monday, and we're here for a double header. We're starting off with Balance Breach. They have a new video, new song, Overthrown. And every time these guys release some new material, I'm always happy to check it out. But just to be sure, they sent me an email and it's like, hey, dude, you know, there's a new video, a new song. Could you could you show us some love? Of course we can show you guys some love. Yeah. We have nothing but love for Balance Breach and the and the good boys in Finland. So, are you ready to start off this double header with a band that we're very familiar with? So Yeah, very I, comfortable start. Exactly, because I don't know what the next one is going to bring. It's a patronal request, so I, I, I'm not quite sure. So, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. like that I thought they were gonna come back again but you know I'm not gonna hate I'm not gonna hate all right you're gonna go first oh dude that chorus that chorus is just it it, it, it I, I don't know I, don't, I can't I can't say the word I don't the words not coming to my head but it, it lightens up my soul that that uh, that chorus I was gonna use a bigger word but it's not coming to my mind right now you're you're a little bit restricted on your vocabulary to illuminate okay yeah that's, 
That's that was the, the word. That's the bigger word? No. I was, was expecting something that I, I would have to go Google it or something. No, no, no. no. That was the word that I was thinking. It, it's a bigger word than just lights up my soul. Oh, then, yeah, I guess. But, if, we're, if we're comparing but, but the two. You, but you, you kind of set the bar a little bit It's not an Einstein high. level word here. Uh, it's you, like a I was expecting some Stephen word. Hawking kind of shit. And, and you kind of gave me some, I mean, some... You know, Dr. Fauci kind of shit. Yeah, if it was so. Stephen Hawking's type of, you know, we're not going to go there. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I know exactly where you're going. And, you know, they're going to see you rolling and they're going to be hating. Oh, they're going to so, be hating. Definitely. So, so let's just move on from that. Oh, uh, dude. I mean, that, that chord just gave me so much. It, it, it opened. The, the song is very, very heavy, very driven, fast. Um, but that chorus is just that time. It kind of stops stop the song. Set, stops the song a little bit, but it infuses a little bit more melody into the track. Yeah, it's like if you're if you're driving like if you're just driving on like a um, I don't know like a road trip, and then you then you like you're just very focused on driving, and then you take like that two seconds out of your drive to like actually just see the surrounding and see the beauty of where you're at. Not, that's not what I was going with it, but okay. Well, I'm just that's what came to my mind. Was 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 that? I was thinking about especially being in one of those Volkswagen mini buses. Uh, I was thinking about going into IHOP and break shit out of everything there, and then just hop back on it and just like, get the fuck out of here, and then the wheel spinning. That's a road trip right there. Yeah, that's a fucking road trip. No, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go on the road trip to take in the scenery. What, what am I, a hippie now? No, but you're on the way to wherever you're trying. I never you're care about. Your, I only care about getting there. I don't really care much about the scenery. Really? Well, especially when you're the driver and you're driving for like 15 hours straight, like I've done. But that's what I'm saying. Like Anyways, okay, but that's you. You're 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 cool with that, that I'm, you know, and I'm cool with that. It's just not necessarily where I was gonna go with it. Uh, that, that's what it stops the song. It opens up the song. It's it like, definitely lets the song breathe. It, it, it's like oh, here, I'll it, give it, you another analogy. Then it's like you're running and you're running, and then you finally stop and you take that big breath before you of, before you go on again. Exactly. Okay, that's what that, it is. that is better. That is better. I I'm, th now that I'm down it's with. It's that clean, cool air just entering you. That's what it that, is. That, that inhaling and then that powerful exhaling, exhaling, and then you just fucking go. Now that was far better. That, that that was way better. Way better. By the way, the day that this song came out. I was wearing a Balance Breach t-shirt. You were I, I wearing wore... the, the baseball one? No, no, I, I actually the t-shirt t-shirt. Oh, not t-shirt. not the long, not the, the baseball long sleeve one, like the actual t-shirt. And then the sun comes out and I'm like, fuck. I'm like, great minds think alike, I, I guess. You know, I was prepared. I was wearing the shirt. Because somebody sent us a message on Twitter saying, hey, Balance Breach has a new song. And I replied to, to, to that dude. He's one of our viewers. I was like, ah, I'm actually wearing the t-shirt today. So... It was. I just want to throw that out there. It was kind of funny that they released a song on the same day I was wearing a shirt. Like, what's what's the odds, the odds of that happening? Now, as far as this track goes, I, I really enjoy this band. And now let's cue one, two, three. A boomer is going to say that I'm too old to listen to metalcore. Right about now, happening right now in the in, in the in the comment section. Right now. You're too old to listen to metalcore. Yeah. You're. Since when does age play a role on where the on what the fuck you listen to? Imagine that. Like, what was this? The Khmer Rouge? Like, are you guys the now like, like you guys now like are, are, are dictating what I can listen to, what I can like based on my age? First of all, you don't even know how fucking old I am. For all you know, I'm Benjamin Button and I'm going backwards. You don't even know. They're so key, they're keyboard pull pots over there. Just because my beard is white, let me remind you guys, Richard Gere had white hair in his 30s. Late twenties, early thirties, when when he did Pretty Woman. I, I'm assuming that was his age at the time. But anyways. He was not fucking old. You know, he was vintage. That salty hair was sexy as fuck. So don't look at my beard and assume that I'm a fucking old man, you know, like that I already get like a senior's discount at, at, at the fucking, uh, you know, uh, crab shack. It, it, it's not happening. It's not happening. And nobody's going to tell me what I can listen to regardless of my age. I could be fucking 99 and, and, and listening to metalcore is not one of my problems. See what I did there? Yeah. I kind of incorporated two things into one. I just hate when people say that. Like, since when does music come with, with an age restrict? Well, okay, maybe I should have rephrased that. But since when does one's age uh, it stop them from listening to certain genres of metal? Uh, like, I can listen to whatever the fuck I want. You can. But like, like, I think when, stopping I, me? when I hit my 70s and my ears start to, to, start to leave me, uh, it's going to be really hard to listen to some breakdowns. Ah, that's what you're saying now. You don't know then. Your taste change. Music evolves. You don't know what's gonna be around then. So, but I just, I just, it, it, it rubs me the absolute wrong way when people. And that was not a sexual innuendo, but it really rubs me the wrong way when people come on the on the comment section 
and, and tell me that I'm too old to listen to metalcore or deathcore or like what the hell is wrong with you? No, what the fuck is wrong with you? You listen to whatever the fuck being you want, ageist. and I listen to whatever the fuck I want. I don't go to your house and tell you what to listen to, so don't come in my house and tell me what I can listen to. So anyways, I love these guys, I love these dudes, they make great music, we've been actually following this band even before they signed with Out of Line Music, so I feel like some of their success is because of us. We've been their lucky star, if you will. Okay, okay. I like, I like to claim... You like to claim... I like, like to claim this shit. Like, like the, I don't have much to claim these you days, You like so. to claim the easy part of it. They're doing the hard work. We're claim, You're claiming, like, the easy, easy part of it. Yeah, I'm the lucky charm. Sitting here watching the video. I'm the lucky charm. Okay. Or you, me, both. We're the lucky charms. We're the lucky charms. Okay. Yeah, we give them a chance when nobody else would. Let's put it that way. Remember us when you guys get famous. And I don't mean famous like famous now. I mean, like, Volbeat famous or... Or Gojira famous. You should have said Gojira famous, not Volbeat famous. Oh, Volbeat is still pretty famous. They I still know. play arenas. I know, but like they, a lot they of just happen like... to open for Gojira. But you know, like we're like we're splitting hairs here. Really, it's not. You know, it's a half lot of, of one, don't like Volbeat, two thirds of the other. That's why they would probably like. If these guys don't like Vol Volbeat, they're like, oh fuck, we're gonna be like Volbeat. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I mean, but then the music... you said Gojira, it's like okay, maybe. Uh, all, right, all right, all right, all right. But say, anyways, I, I love these guys. I love their sound. This song. He said everything already. It's super fucking energetic. It has a great drive. It has great power. It, uh, and honestly, the whole song, I felt like one of those dogs when you open up the window and you put your head and they put their head outside and then their gums are like flapping in the wind and there's like fucking dog saliva going all over the place. That's how this song feels when you're listening to it because there's so much power. There's so much energy going through you as you're listening to it. And then it comes to the chorus. The chorus, like you said, is that... Inhale, exhale, wax on, wax off. Wax Inner. on, wax off. Yeah, you just on, you you off. just uh, you just get that that little reprieve, that little break. You know what I mean? And and just so that things can continue, they continue with a more melodic drive and not necessarily a heavy a heavy one. I love that. The vocals change as well. Godly. Going into the, Godly. The vocals are phenomenal. First of all, I really love the screaming vocals, those those harsher vocals in the yeah, verse. But, I think but when it gets into the chorus, the, those, the melody that the song has with the melody of the vocals together really uh, lets one. the song breathe. It brings some air into the track. But the whole the melody of what the guitars and everything was doing the, and, and the melody of his voice in that chorus they became one. They became one unit. And it, it was really... Because... What, when especially the the note the um, in the chorus where he was leaning into that melody, right? They they full on became one there. I couldn't tell which was him and which one was the actual you know guitar in the full the mm -hmm. full actual you know song itself. And I I, I love that because it just it, it just has a nice sound to it. it just feels very uh, robust, robust and open. Open, yeah, I agree, hundred percent. Great track, a lot of fun, a lot of energy. Uh, but but these these guys, you all, I've also been seeing a little bit of a progression with them. It's not like this song sounds exactly like the last you know fifteen songs, twenty songs that they've done. I see the way that they're constructing tracks, the way they're putting songs together. Uh, they're they're being a lot more creative with how they bring things along, and not just find one formula that works for them, and then now just let's multiply that formula, and everything follows the same process, which would become a little bit repetitive. In a genre that's already repetitive as it is, you wanna break away from that mold as much as possible for the songs to always feel like they're adding something new and adding something fresh. So this one kinda of did that. It, it had a little couple of caveats. The way it starts with that pause at the beginning, and then it, it comes back again and then the song starts, I thought that was interesting. The way it ends, also I was not expecting it to end that way. So they threw in a couple of caveats here and there in order for the song to have few different nuances once again, to try to break away from the pack and not just sound like another metalcore song from another metalcore band. So, kudos to them. Yeah. All right. On that note, we're done for this video, but there's another one coming right after. So, don't go anywhere. Keep refreshing, and we'll see you guys at the next video. See ya.